Our next honoree is from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Dr. Marty Tenenbaum. Like many of the Dewey honorees, my work grew out of a personal challenge. 17 years ago, I was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma, which is a wicked disease with a dire prognosis. Statistically, no one survives. I went to all the local oncologists uh, that were in my community, and all of them agreed on only one thing, which was the prognosis was dire. And everyone told me to try something else as a kind of Hail Mary. And uh, there was no data on which to make a decision. I expanded my search nationally uh, and got some uh, more interesting therapies that people were suggesting. But again, there was no data on which to base a decision. I made a vow then and there, if somehow I got through this experience, I would do something that drew on my own background in artificial intelligence and internet entrepreneuring in order to ensure that no patient would ever again have to go through what I went through. 17 years later, the problem is... <laughs> Today, the situation is even more challenging. In some ways, we've made a lot of progress in cancer. We know that cancer is now thousands of distinct molecular diseases, and there are hundreds of drugs that are used to treat cancer. But this just makes the challenge more difficult for a patient trying to decide what's the right thing to do. In fact, I would say that there's no one in the world who knows the optimal way to treat cancer with existing drugs. And this really matters because if you look at the outcomes of patients, five-year survival, for example, uh, this can vary by as much as 50% from one institution to the next. And unfortunately, it falls off very rapidly as you move from kind of the major cancer centers out into the community and then into uh, the rural community, the disadvantaged community, and the third world community. And the inter in the internet age, this is outrageous. How can this be? How can we have such uh, uneven distribution of knowledge? What we, my mission at Cancer Commons is to take the knowledge of the 10% of physicians who are really at the top of the pyramid and make sure every doctor and every patient in the world has access to that knowledge. So what we do, we have our flagship uh, service is something that we call Ask Cancer Commons. It's a free service that's available to anyone at uh, cancercommons slash ask. And if you have a challenging case, you describe the case, you ask a question, uh, whether you're looking for an optimal doctor uh, for your particular case, or you're looking for the best clinical trial or therapy, and we provide that information. And then uh, we get that information, I should say, from uh, the world's top doctors who are members of our network. And we distribute that information back to the patient who asked. But importantly, we disseminate it to every similar patient. And so we might get 100 to 1 or 1,000 to 1 leverage off of that. And then we follow up by finding out what the patient actually did and how it worked so that we can close the loop and learn. I'm absolutely convinced that we can save half the people who are dying of cancer today with no new drugs just by making optimal use of the drugs that we already have. And there's no, uh, uh, you know, new, if you're investing in, in cancer research, for example, you take the thousand and first drug, it's going to have a very small impact on change. But if we invest in information, we can literally, given all of that variation in outcomes, we can make a big difference immediately. So I would just like to ask you in closing that if you know someone who is dealing with a challenging case of cancer, that you please put them in touch with us at Cancer Commons. And if you are working yourself with a cancer organization that might have access to patients or doctors or uh, advocacy groups or philanthropists, that we get in touch because Cancer Commons is all about connecting everyone for the sake of saving lives.
Thank you very much to the organizers. And uh, I just would ask that any of you who have are challenging or know someone who's being have a challenging case of cancer or are interested in helping, come see me afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.